they stop breaking books. Everything else is uh, given by a series of recognized signals which all the boxers know exactly what. He's got up the mean. tempo here, Jim, um, kept high. The, the, the pace is too slow. It's suiting Beringa down to the ground. You can see um, him coming. He needs to step on the gas a little bit and put the man under pressure. Yeah, this Filipino, he's, he's in Wonderland now, no problem at all. Gets in and out so quickly. The feet are the important thing as far as he is concerned. He gets them in the right place and the punch follows. And Kapai has not been able to read this fellow at all. He's found it very difficult to cope with the southpaw style, even though the man is two, three, maybe four inches shorter. You know, and that southpaw, straight southpaw lead has been scoring as well. And, and Kapai seems to be thinking, well, is he going to bring the left, right? And then he gets him with the right. Another good left. <laughs> this is a terrific performance from Bariga. Yeah, you have to chop and change tactics throughout the contest. You know, pending on the score. That second Come on, round. little Filipino. Capone didn't quite Mark Bariga. In third round now, it's a, it's a different ball game. He's got to get some points on the board. <laughs> He's got to up the tempo and push this man back a little bit and get it back on the ropes. <laughs> well, you can see why Bariga gave uh, Zhu Ling a lot of trouble in the World Championship last year in the quarterfinal. The, the Chinese World Champion went on to his third title. He's the Olympic Champion. 12-5, he only won that one. Mm. Coming up to the last 30 seconds, and it's been another very good round, and I think it'll probably be another four or five pointer as far as he's concerned. Kapai really has not uh, landed anything meaningful in this round. And what's going on? Oh, the headgear. <laughs> The, the head gear came off. Yeah, I think this has been one of the best um, <laughs> displays I've seen in the tournament so far, Jim. From Bariga. He's just a bit the same. <laughs> the corner pad, isn't he? Yeah. Little fella. I he's, think too. His technique, it really is superb. The cat eye falling short as he has done all the way through. Off the head. Ooh. <laughs> He's allowing his man to dominate. Oh, look. Oh. What a great display by Mark Bariga. We've seen the <laughs> contest of this division. And Bariga yeah. is looking pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very tough division. <laughs> and he's showing Jimmy can do it on the front foot as well there. He didn't Nine wait. seconds he, to go. Capone made the mistake of waiting too long. In he comes, beats him to the punch. And again. Well, he has been a delight to watch. And he's won. Great performance by the only boxer from the Philippines here in London 2012. Look, the reaction from the crowd fantastic. They love this little guy. Dear me, looks like he should be at home in bed, tucked up with the beano. <laughs> what a great show. Look at that. Right and then left. Wonderful combinations all the way through. The foot speed is so important, and then the hand speed. His opponent was waiting far too long. Yeah, he did in that round too often. He just stepped off the gas, hesitated a little bit. Moringa stepped in there and look at the delight from his coach. Very happy indeed. He'll be difficult to beat, no doubt. <laughs> Here's the result. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by a score of seventeen point seven in the ring world. Yay! The only Filipino boxer in London, my goodness. to Manuel Capai and on you go to Mark Bariga. Great performance by the, the tiny boxer from the Philippines.